Hello guys, today I'm going to remake my own game. Last month, I participated in the GMTK Game Jump, making a turn-based dice-rolling RPG game. Unfortunately, I was not able to polish the game. I developed the game non-stop for more than 20 hours and uploaded it to Game Jam last minute before the deadline. But the game are not tested and it crashed on the third level. And yeah, today I'm going to put some effort to remake the game with some additional features. Hope it will be fun in the end. I made some new sprites for the graphic. The original one is a dungeon team environment, but I'm tired of making those dungeon tile set, so I make it in a forest environment with the grass tiles of two colors to form the chessboard like looking. And I wanted to add some motion to the environment so that we could feel the environment has some motion. I found a pretty good shader graph tutorial that allowed us to make this waving effect. I added it to my grass and it looks pretty good. I'm trying to improve the graphic as much as I can. I added some obstacles to the environment, some trees and stones. And introducing the player. Uh, I haven't figured out how the player should look, so I made this little white guy as player. I also made a script to set the sorting order of the sprite based on its position. Basically, the sorting order are referring to the Y position of the game object. I also added a campfire to give more layer to the light source. I made the fire with Unity's particle system. The particle sprite looks like this. Yeah, it's just some simple looking shit. And once I put it in my particle system, with two layers of particles and different range of size and colors, it looks pretty good. And yes, the bloom effect much better. Maybe I'll tune it a little bit, but not now. I also create a simple board generator to generate the map with given data. And a script that moves the camera towards the cursor. And a simple UI to display the player action. Yes, when I say simple, it means it is a prototype and it will be remade. I do tune the color a little bit compared to the first version, but I think it could be better and I'm not going to tune it for now. As a Mr. Perfection, I might take forever to figure out the best color, so not now. Basically, the idea of the game is a turn-based tactic game like XCOM or Into the Bridge. There are two main mechanics that I wanted to implement for the game. The level generation with unique enemies and bosses. Deals and partners customization to build a unique combination of a team. But these are two mechanisms that require extremely huge time to design and implement. I'll probably regret about the ideas in the future. I implemented a pathfinding system to find the shortest path for the movement. I used the A-sharp pathfinding method to find the path. If you are interested about the algorithm, I will recommend you to watch the series made by Sebastian Lark. It is the best one I've seen so far. Basically, the player rolls dice to determine the action. I haven't finished the complete player controller mechanic. Currently, we could only use the dice to move the player. The player could move any number of steps up to the roll result. Actually, I'm still quite confused with the visual of the game because I watched the video from Winter Mute Digital about the isometric. As I will implement some mechanic about high ground, I'm also thinking of making it into 3D or stay like this but with 2.5D for the parallax effect. Question for today are What style do you like it to be? Stay as what it is. Isometric style, 2.5D, 3D. That's all I want to cover in this devlog. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. And please subscribe to the channel if you are looking forward to see more content. Remember to also hit the bell button so that YouTube remember to tell you that I upload the video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.